I'm Beverly, I'm a spiritual mentor, and I'm here today with Girls Meet Glow. I became a spiritual mentor kind of by accident. Most of my adult life, I desired to have a mentor and there were no mentors for me in my circles. And uh, when I was in my late 20s, I went through an experience called inner healing where we dealt with some of the things from my past, forgiveness in my life for my dad, and it changed my life. It made me see people more clearly, how people usually operate out of their own hurts, and the things that might hurt you really had nothing to do with you. It was more about them, and learn to give people grace and offer forgiveness. Having done that, I raised four children, and decided, God, you really do want me to help other women. Uh, what motivates me to keep going is the tremendous need that I see in the church and in the world for people to walk in freedom, of freedom from their past, healing and wholeness from uh, things that have hurt them, traumatized them, kept them down, keep them from moving forward in their own lives. The, the hardest thing to deal with is to remind myself that I get to speak into their lives. I don't live their lives. I'm not responsible for the choices that they make in their lives. And so when someone asks me for godly counsel and I give it, and then they decide that they don't want to take that, that was hard to decide. It wasn't about what I said. It was about the choice they made. And to leave them to it and still love them through it and not just say, oh, well, then forget you because I can't just forget you. With mentoring, every person is different. They all have different needs. And so the process differs. The goal never does. The goal is always about finding freedom and wholeness, helping them find their identity in Christ. They are smarter than what they think they are. And a lot of moms are better moms than they think they are. What I'd like to communicate to others is that you do not have to stay defined by your past, by your hurts and traumas, the things that have happened to you, the things that you've chosen to do. There's forgiveness for that. God forgives you, but you need to forgive yourself. Keep spiritual pride at bay because it's really easy to think, oh, look what I did. I helped them. No, it was Jesus and it was Jesus through you one of my favorite quotes that I've used probably for 30 years was a friend of mine, Roxanne Dill. And she said one time, we're just dirt, we're only dirt. And that stuck with me because we are only dirt until God breathes the life. And when God breathes the life, that's when we can accomplish something. That's when we find out who we are and we can help somebody else find out who they are. But me, I'm just dirt without him.